The World's Longest Sock, written and illustrated by Julianne Law. Ah, yes, the world's longest sock. This is quite the remarkable story about two people who simply would not give up. It all started with Nana Nina, who loved knitting. She made socks for her children and her children's children. She made so many socks, she opened up her own sock shop. To bring in more customers, she hung a sock outside her door. One long sock. She added a row after each sale. As the business grew, so did the sock. More and more people came by to see the sock grow. And more people meant more sales. There we have a llama running across. I bet she might have used some of that um, wool from the llama to make her sock. Nana Nina told people, come see the world's longest sock. I'm going to set a world's record. She knew that would make her sock business boom. She invited me, the world's record judge, to come and see her sock and make it official. But far away in a forested valley, a lonely lumberman named Chuck was working on another sock that was also super long. He'd learn to knit on cold, lonely nights while, watching, while he watched TV. He started knitting his sock in episode one of Zombies from New Zealand and forgot to stop. By episode 10, his knee-high sock was neck high. Then one night, tucked in and ready to snooze, Chuck sat up when he heard the news. Today in Chile, Nana Nina set a record for the world's longest sock. Crowds are cheering and everyone has come from miles around to see this incredible sock. People are excited about that sock? Heck, mine is better, said Chuck. Mine could win the world record. Then I'll be famous. Then I'll have friends. He picked up his phone and called. Soon after, Nina was cheerfully chatting with all her new customers when her award was yanked off the wall by yours truly. No! On the other side of the world, the usually quiet valley erupted with noise and excitement. Chuck had won! Neighbors gathered to celebrate. Neighbors he had never knew he even had. It felt good to have someone laugh at his jokes, someone to talk to about zombie movies, someone to share soup with. Ah, do you notice? I think Chuck has found a girlfriend. But Nina would not give up that easily. She pushed up her sleeves and got back to work. Sheer, card, die, Spin. Sorry, folks, this award has been revoked. Until there is a clear winner, it will remain unclaimed. These two socks are too close in size. Chuck's neighbors unraveled. And it looks like Chuck not only found a girlfriend, he has a new wife. From that point on, Nina and Chuck were locked in fierce competition. Nina Nana and her llama fighting to make the world's longest sock and Chuck and his sheep. Nina kept knitting. Her family and customers rallied around her as the sock took over the town. Nina in the lead by a yard of yarn. 
Time kept ticking and Chuck kept knitting. His neighbors came to help and cheer him on. Oh, and it looks like not only does he have a wife, but he has a new baby, too. Chuck, ahead by a foot. This is a real nail biter. Who will win the great sock race? A new leader, Chuck is in luck. Now hold on to your socks. Nina strides to the front. Chuck, Nina, Nina, Chuck. Chuck and Nina kept at it. This competition was out of control. The world was divided. People took sides. Nina knitted until her hands were blistered and sore. Looks like she's even in the hospital in a bed. And Chuck's fingers were numb, and his eyes were blurry. And what was it all for? He's passed out onto the floor. Nina's shop was a success, and her family was proud. But how could she work in her store with her hands like this? And Chuck had found friendship and love. Isn't that what he'd really wanted? He'd become a dad. Wasn't that the best reward? Just when he thought he should stop, a familiar face came on the news. Houston, we have a solution. Together, these woolen wonders made the world's longest pair of socks. And together, Chuck and Nina accepted their award. Two socks, after all, are better than one. The author, Julian Law, has been involved in two world records so far. When she was an intern in New York, she was strolling through Central Park on a beautiful spring morning when someone handed her a hula hoop and asked, You want to be part of a world record? She then got to participate in the most people hula hooping simultaneously in one place. And one summer she got to join in the world's longest line of root beer floats. Julian is based in Salt Lake City where she lives with her family. Throughout the creation process for this book, she's been knitting a long sock herself. You can see more of her vibrant work on her website, juliannelaw.com.